Hello everyone, how are you doing on this fine day? I hope you are looking after yourselves, my beautiful little hatchlings and adventurers. So you may be asking yourselves, Noah, what are we talking about today? Let me tell you. <laughs> We're talking about So Thirsty by Rachel Harrison. This came out September 2024, so... This year. And this is apparently a horror paranormal thriller. And apparently is the main word that I want you to take away. So the story revolves around two best friends who are known as Salone, who is the main pov in this whole story. And I was going to say Nicole because uh, Naomi is her actual name in this. And they are complete polar opposites. And this book spans technically across a week. Originally, they go away for a birthday weekend getaway to a place in the middle of nowhere around wintertime. And everything just goes downhill because Naomi, who is the wild one, decides to go to a party. And that's the story. That's pretty much the story. To be honest, the blurb on the back sounds really, really good. And I was very optimistic about it. So I'm just going to slap that in there for you. The plot. The plot of this, for something that's supposed to be a horror, thriller, paranormal sort of stuff, you think the plot would be fast. It's not. It was very slow. It angered me. <laughs> It did not feel fast at all, and it actually slightly irritated me quite a lot. Because not only was the story sounding really, really good, the plot just didn't have it in it. It really, really didn't. <laughs> the characters. There's a few characters in this. In this, We have Salone, who is our main girl, who is the thinker, the character who is all woe is me, and has to really forgive herself. Then we have the polar opposite, which is Naomi, who is our wild card. She pretty much is a wild card. She does everything without thinking of the, the consequences and gets them into quite a lot of trouble. But their friendship is the, that the glue for them more than anything because they 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 are childhood friends. Like that, she's somewhat still the glue that kind of brings life to Salone. That's all I'm going to say about the, them two, the main people. Then we that we then have the other side of of the characters, which is. Henry, who is not Dracula or the son of Dracula, no, not at all. Um, Eliza, um, Tatiana, and Illy, and there was two others, but they were there for like the first little bit for the spas, and then they fucked off. And that's really all I can say about them, to be honest. It, it, it mainly focuses not really on the characters, but more on the fact of Sloan and Naomi's sort of dynamic, which isn't really there. It's pretty much a, they're both each other's punching bags and how they have to kind of like get through some of their personal shit while they're also going through this shit of basically becoming vampires. Rereadability and fun factor. I'm not going to read this again. I didn't enjoy it. I'm actually going to be putting this into one of my local little uh, book libraries and Elaine's gonna love this because I've done something I said I would never do. I wrote in the book for whoever reads this, saying from one reader to another, enjoy. I hope you enjoy it more than I did. <laughs> no, if I didn't enjoy this, maybe someone else will. So I, I put I hope that they enjoy and I'm gonna put it into a little like book nook somewhere there is some dotting around now so hopefully someone will find this it might go for them it might be their sort of cup of tea they might enjoy it so instead of me going this is crap i'm not gonna have this on my bookshelf because i didn't enjoy it doesn't mean that someone else will doesn't mean someone else won't i mean so they can do it if they like it they can keep it there you go fun times my thoughts on this i really wanted to enjoy this i really really did but I didn't. I like the idea of the story. The premise of the story sounds amazing. But I found it so mind-numbing. So drab. It just really angered me. Because the amount of so thirsty written throughout this book was a lot. A fuck ton. And I get that they're supposed to be going through this change and getting used to things. But you don't have to shove it down my throat as much as you did to them. Okay? 
The only good thing that happened in this book was for about four pages into this, we met a character named Alice, which is why I've not talked about her in the character section because she's only there for four pages. She was the only point of excitement for me. There's also the fact that Henry, whose real name is not Henry, by the way, that was all love at first sight, but not really. But then he did this change and now they're like in love and they're soulmates, even though they're not. But he's been around for like 500 plus years. <laughs> So therefore, it must be love. It must be love, but it's so for now. Anyway, I rate this two out of five. I, I I like the idea of the story, the premise of it. The plot just wasn't there for me. It it, it just dragged for me. I was kind of like 30% of the way through the book. I was just kind of done with both Sloane and Naomi. And the worst thing is, is that I really loved the name Sloane from a previous book. <laughs> And now it's been tarnished by this book. The writing itself, it's not bad writing at all. It's actually really good writing, but it just didn't have the punch for everything that was supposed to be horrifying in this. It didn't leave me with anything. It didn't make me feel anything. I was just like, this is the book I'm reading. The end. <laughs> but if you have read this book and you enjoyed it, I would really like to know Please tell me, explain your thoughts, everything to me, please. But with that, I'm going to leave it there. Not a great review, not a long one even. More of me just prodding at the book, hoping, I don't know, I just wanted more. I genuinely wanted more from this book, but that's, that's my own personal thoughts on this. But I would love to know yours. Please let me know. Much love, make good choices in life, and love, love. Cheers.